We have finally come to realize that our world is finite. The circular economy is helping us understand the way we should align ourselves and our businesses alongside natural cycles while generating new ways of earning a living. The circular economy could be our best pathway towards well-being as long as it is properly designed. Changing the relation between the environment and the economy is great, yet the need to embed humans within that model is even greater. We have built an economic model which has been highly destructive to our planet. Our economy, based on limited fossil resources, is at the origin of most damages made to the Earth. Repairing the cracks will not be easy. One effective way to fix them could be to look at where the highest stocks of resources are at hands now and in the future. Instead of our current linear modeling of extracting, making products, consuming and disposing of them after a few uses, we should preserve the quality of these products so they can last longer in the economy and to be used differently at any point in time, as services for instance but not only. The objective here is to manage this sphere as a stock of well-maintained components that would be fit for purpose. This stock of materials, the technosphere, is to be preserved the longest time possible. Another important stock we depend on is the biosphere. Following natural cycle rules, it is an endless source of innovations we should be inspired by. This stock tells us about self-regeneration and how to recreate abundance of flows. We should end depleting it and replicate its flows in our lives. Our third and critical stock is us, humans. We are numerous and growing fast. While some of us see this as a threat, what if we looked at its abundant nature and flipped the situation around? How about considering ourselves as what we are? Stock and flows of endless energies and of endless matter. Thanks to our versatility and adaptability, we start rethinking our many new roles within the next economic model. Aren't we supposed to find ways to fix our biosphere in a matter of high priority? Aren't we supposed to maintain the value of our materials in the technosphere? Considering ourselves as an endless source of energies and matter to help grow the biosphere and service the technosphere has already been done and tested. What about making it mainstream? Humans have rebuilt large and depleted landscapes, turning deserts into lush forests. Humans are replacing the functions of the missing bees by hand-pollinating fruit trees from Asia to Africa. Humans are considered more versatile than the most advanced robots in some automotive supply chains, so that they come in handy helping robots to cope. How about considering ourselves as the engines of the next generation of robots? Aren't we the most renewable and endless stock of energy available on the planet? Aren't we in need of new sources of renewable energies and look at innovative ways to reduce our current needs? This is first and foremost about changing perspectives on ourselves and developing four strategies within the upcoming economic model. A strategy of adaptation in our relation with nature, by being nature. A strategy of evolution whereby we receive from the biosphere improved services of enjoying better conditions conducive to life and to food. A strategy of valorization, where our main role will be about enhancing the value of technical nutrients we need to enjoy a collaborative life. And lastly, a strategy of advancement where everything will be made so that we advance our species away from growth at all costs. These new human roles in our next economic model rely on shifting our tax regime from labor to scarce resources and fits in well within its core concept of recognizing that both waste and poverty do not exist in nature so why did we invent them in the first place? This extended version of a circular economy, inclusive of us humans, may preserve all our values by reinventing our relation with nature. And guess what? It could very well be a way to avoid the estimated consumption rebound as it aims to address our societal needs first, beyond our current focus on material circularity. Endless new types of jobs and activities could be invented thanks to this new way of grasping circular value creation.